So we're here today at the Bull's Head Public House in the General Sutter Inn and wanted to sit in here with Jim Robertson. And uh, first of all, I wanted to welcome you to the uh, United States, of course, and, and Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your background, Jim, and what really brought you to here at the Bull's Head? Okay, well, thank you, Steve. Um, firstly, can I say it's fantastic being back in the States. I love it over here and um, slightly unusual uh, as a brewer having spent my formative years uh, in the UK and now coming over here uh, in the kind of uh, autumn of, of my career. I actually um, uh, started an interest in brewing when I left school, I guess what you would call high school. Uh, so I went to uh, brewing school when I uh, left secondary education and did a degree in brewing at Harriet Watt in Edinburgh and graduated from there in 1977 with a Bachelor of Science degree. Uh, I was then recruited by Courage Brewery in London and uh, worked for them for 10 years and during that time in 1983 studied for and became a master brewer. Uh, that's actually quite a challenging qualification. We had to sit six examinations uh, of three hours each across a three-day period so uh, probably one of the toughest academic uh, achievements uh, I've had and it also gave me an interest on the academic side of brewing uh, but once I'd done uh, my 10 years of courage I joined an engineering company called Briggs who build brewery equipment worldwide and that's where I first um, kind of fell in love with the American brewing industry. And I was working out here in the late 1980s, uh, selling brew house equipment to Anheuser-Busch and Miller. Uh, but I have to say, when I toured America in the 1980s, uh, it was very difficult to find beers of a different taste. So uh, we were almost exclusively drinking blonde lagers and uh, struggling to find anything with uh, a degree of hop or a little bit of difference in character. Uh, so uh, I finished my time with Briggs and uh, was actually recruited by my hometown brewery in Bedford, uh, a regional brewery called Charles Wells, and that was uh, back in 1989. I started there as a second brewer and during that time I studied uh, what was a tailored MBA and uh, it was a course that was designed to show uh, administration of brewery management and it was actually called a Master of Brewery Management. Now when I started out on that course I had about 11 companions but very quickly they decided they were either going to do a proper uh, highbrow MBA or that they weren't going to do anything at all and dropped out. Uh, so they fortunately kept the course open for me and allowed me to graduate so I am and will be the only ever master of brewery management uh, something again I'm very proud of